Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our burnout mode in our Fuel Tech Manager software. We're going to find we have the ability to have a secondary two-step rev limiter and a secondary main rev limiter when we're in the burnout box. So we can turn this on with a basic toggle switch. So we turn the toggle switch on before we roll into the burnout box. It's going to allow us to have maybe a two-step higher than our main two-step that we would launch the vehicle at. So we are at or above our peak torque so we get good wheel spin. And then we would have a lower rev limiter in place so that we're not going to go up to something like nine or 10,000. Maybe that's where our main rev limiter is set at. We might want to have our rev limiter at something like 8,500 in the burnout box. So it's going to be stressing our engine less when we're going and doing this. Um, it is going to be something you definitely want to implement on a drag vehicle. It can really help you get your tires warmed up very quickly. So we're going to go through all the different ways and implementations of the burnout mode in this video so you are very clear how to set this up on your drag vehicle. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our burnout mode in our Fuel Tech Manager software. This is gonna be an excellent feature for a drag race car to make sure that we get the tires hot enough so we get the best possible grip before we make our drag pass. So in order to make this feature work, we're gonna jump in here to our quick access panel. We're gonna move down the list here and we're gonna move into our engine settings. Now under engine settings, we're gonna move down here into map options. This is gonna allow us to turn our burnout mode on. It's gonna be found under our drag race features. So in this red section right here, when we toggle it on, it's gonna be appearing in our section right here. So if I turn on the burnout mode, we're gonna be clicking off our map options screen here. Let's click onto the side. We'll find the burnout mode is gonna be popping open here. We can start to work with this. Now, one thing I wanna point out here that's very, very important, it is a little bit confusing with this. If we jump back in here to map options, we need to make sure if we're gonna be using the burnout mode that we also have our two-step rev limiter checked on here. It is going to be working hand in hand. I'll be explaining this here in a second. Um, so we need to make sure we're working with both. In the previous video to this, we took a look at the two-step rev limiter, how to program it, what to look for, how it works. That should all make sense, should be fresh in your mind. So looking at the burnout mode now, this is gonna be working in conjunction with the two-step rev limiter. Let's jump in here to our burnout mode section. Now, first and foremost, if we take a look, we're gonna find at the top, two-step limiter on burnout mode, RPM limiter on burnout mode. This is going to allow us to have a distinctive two-step rev limiter for the burnout mode, as well as a main rev limiter for the burnout mode. So only when the burnout mode is activated, we will have these in place. So for example here, if we're taking a look at our two-step rev limiter, we can find the RPM target here is at 6,500. This is going to be if we have no burnout mode on. So we want to launch the vehicle. 6,500 gives us the best possible launch. We don't have too much wheel spin. We don't have- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.